and uh, I would say the commercially marketed products. These are the list of commercially marketed products for different, uh, what I would say, the brand name and what is the active in it and who is the developer and what is the indication. I've just made a table just to you know, to maybe you, you guys are aware of it, but just want to show it here. And uh, so that all these advanced drug delivery systems are in the market already, okay? And uh, so yeah, these are the list, okay? As I said, so one of the, the the first one I would say is Zolodex, one of the longest controlled list franchise approved in 1989 itself. Okay, one month formulation and three month formulation, large market, excellent example of indicated primary for prostate cancer through suppression of testosterone. And luprolide acetate is a well known existing molecule. And then uh, Respiral Consta, one of the newest controlled release franchise system, though it is say newest because people are struggling to make a generic of it. So there's a lot of research going to make on generic, but the first was approved in 2009. So multiple doses requires titration. So all those things, and then dexamethasone in the sterile PLGA implant. Okay. And uh, so there are some of the molecules here, which are liposome based and amputorisin B, which is in presently, which is well existing again in most of the markets, amputorisin B, doxorubicin, Donorubicin and Paclitaxel, so which is you know the compl I mean protein based. Okay, so these are some of the examples for the liposomes and uh, nanoparticles. Okay, and again, see here some of the advanced. So again, I think some of the tablets, which are nanoparticle based capsules. So azithromycin as well and uh, nanoparticle formulation and nanocrystal technology, which are developed into oral dosage forms. Okay, so that was my small presentation for advanced drug delivery system for a, what I would say the chemical molecules. Okay, in the next part of the, my presentation, it will be based on the herbal based formulation, okay. So presently with ongoing research in advanced drug delivery system, it is possible to provide a safety, efficacy, stable and economical drug delivery system. The generic market with reference to innovative molecule has become very competitive as several companies have already filed ANDAs, which is called abbreviated new drug application for potential generic drugs in the near term. So helpful for the pharma companies who are exploring novel opportunities for their growth by in licensing formulation technology. So when I say in licensing formulation technology, so we have to develop a platform of formulation. Okay. And they need to, so then we can have uh, what I would say a mode of most of the demand from different you know, customers. So we have a platform so we can make it, uh, what I would say, we can make a formulation for you with using this platform and it will add a value to your drug product. Okay, that's how it is being looked for. And the study of the novel drug companies and their formulation technology will provide the potential value added opportunity in the generic field in terms of patient compliance or availability enhancement. Also, it will provide an enhanced life cycle for drugs under patent coverage. So I know there is a lot of patents and all, so uh, people have worked and the uh, covered their work under the doing, you know, filing a patent. So a lot of the companies, you know, they want the product, you know, rather than, you know, securing it by making a patent. We want some medicines into the market rather than patenting it and holding it for a long time and no medicines in the market. Okay. So, so my, my thinking is, so instead of patenting it, give it to the companies and so that they can make those technologies, uh, you know, uh, develop and available for the uh, market for a patient needs rather than patenting it. Okay. So challenging for both drug and drug dealer companies is to deliver both existing and emerging drug technologies in a manner that improves the current benefits enjoyed by the patients. A large number of companies are involved in the development of innovative drug dealer system, thus providing numerous therapeutic and commercial advantages. So that's what I mean here. So instead of patenting, 
large companies are involved in developing you know so give those platform to them so that you know uh they can develop a numerous therapeutic and will have a commercial advantages for you as well as the company i mean for us when i say you so drugs definitely will be more challenging in terms of the development of innovative drug system and pharmaceutical scientists will have to be ready for difficult task which is a formulation research so they need to be involved more because i know there is a lot of and numerous scientists who are looking for those opportunity on the formulation research you know so these are some of the platforms for them you know so now coming to the uh, just i took this because it's not only the synthetic even herbal is also equally important in that advanced drug delivery system so there are some novel drug delivery system based herbal formulations okay so novel drug delivery system is advantages in delivering the herbal drug at a predetermined rate and delivery of the drug at the site of action which minimize the toxic effect with increase in availability of the drugs okay again in novel drug delivery technology control of the distribution of drugs is achieved so it's the same for the same uh, for the synthetic drugs as well so incorporating the drug in carrier system and changing the structure of the drug at molecular level herbal drugs are becoming more popular in the modern world for their application to cure variety of diseases with less toxic and better therapeutic effects okay again as i said low risk of side effect more effective and a very low cost therapy and widespread availability compared to the synthetic market okay the limitation for herbal drugs is not suitable for many diseases so lack of doses instructions we don't have proper dosage i would say in the herbal drugs and poison risk associated with wild herbs and lack of regulation when i say lack of regulation is mainly the regulatory uh bodies and longer duration of treatment okay so we cannot mainly use for longer duration of treatment so prerequisite for novel carriers firstly it should be delivered the drug at the rate directed by the needs of the body over the period of time secondly it should channel the activity entity of the herbal drug at the site of action because we don't have any stability i'm on sorry any compatibility studies with the herbal drugs for most of the platform polymeric platforms or you would say excipients so we have to do those before we have many dosage forms in the market for herbal based on herbal formulations okay so again scope for herbal drug formulation research again we can do this for herbal molecules polymeric solid lipid phytosomes nano emulsion liposomes ethosomes micro emulsions all these can be made using herbal drug there's a lot of research going on on these platforms okay that one jesus would be is announcement of solubility improved availability again protection from toxicity and announcement of pharmacological activity and thereby stability why i i want to highlight this here because there is a lot of data needed to prove that okay for the herbal drugs so that it is very uh, pharmacologically active and also we have to perform the stability studies as well and we have to improve the stability if needed okay and um, improve tissue macrophage distribution which we don't i don't i would say for uh, most of the herbal drugs we need to study this and also the extended release protection from physical and chemical degradation those will be the advantages if you do this so novel formulation of herbal drugs have a potential feature for enhancing the pharmacological activity okay some of the uh, herbal formulation which are available i would say objective or liposomal formulations so curcumin liposome silmarine garlicin paclitaxel again it is in no it's in herbal boys cathet catechisins and some of this previous capin liposomes for sustained delivery okay I mean when i say herbal based the api is derived from the i mean the plants i would say okay so again the phytosol formulation these are the some of the product which are available okay flavonoids uh fight i mean curcumin grape seed green tea i don't know if anybody i think it is really existing now uh, recently i have seen uh, a year ago or two year ago there is a green tea film thin film available in the market i don't know if any most of you are aware of this and this is marketed by or manufactured by shilpa medicare the green tea phytosome and uh, not the green tea phytosome 
but generally the green tea film okay and docetaxel quercetin triptolide microemulsion and these are some of the use and method of preparation okay so transferosome and lithosome which have where we can achieve a nano i mean nanoparticle size range of 150 to maybe two 200 or 400 mic uh, nano meters okay so that is again based on herbal formulations okay so microspheres also is available based on herbal formulation okay and uh, see these are some of the brand name so based on the herbal active which is involved okay and uh, there are some us patent on herbal formulation okay so we want to bring this into the market rather than having them patent okay so as i said i covered most of this oral and transdermal okay so conclusion is herbal drugs possess a lot of therapeutic potential technology that should be explored by application of innovative drug delivery platform number of plant constituents like flavonoids tannin terpenoid should enhance therapeutic effect by incorporating into innovative drug delivery system great potential for herbal drugs as it provides efficient and economical drug delivery and the trends of incorporating innovative drug delivery system for herbal drugs have been adopted at industrial scale it's just not only in the development stage it also has been adopted into the industrial scales and products are available in the market so that's it from my side and uh, any questions please if you have so, thank you doctor it's a wonderful presentation sir uh, this is a, this is a legendary presentation so i am a pharmaceutical person so i am understand that what you delivery it is very critical data it is not an easy one i know that it is very critical data uh, you could just to show the uh, 3 hours film in 30 minutes i know that because this these data are very very ah yeah yeah okay yeah. Uh, because I didn't want to go through the, all those, you know, details, technical details. I want to make people aware that, okay, these are the things which are available in the market and which are under development stages. I want the formulation scientists or any leaders who are on this, I mean, who are listening this presentation. So give an opportunity to those scientists and also uh, who can work on this innovative drug delivery system. There are many molecules which needs innovative drug rather than, you know, go, going into the complex molecules. Or I would say for the existing uh, molecules, we can still adopt this innovative drug delivery systems. And so many companies are looking for it. Okay, the super doctor. Actually, our company also on my PhD also the formulations company also uh, plan to work in a number of uh, nano formulations and the drug delivery system suitable for uh, colon cancer and vaginal cancer. So, yes. doctor, uh, my question is, uh, mm. what is the value for the developing a uh, target a drug delivery system for colon cancer and vaginal cancer by oral? Okay, I think there should be um, uh, drugs available in the market already in a tablet or and even in, in terms of suppository as well. Correct me if I'm wrong for those uh, uh, platforms, especially for vaginal delivery. There is a suppository available for that. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you can continue. Yeah, yeah. So the mainly thing is, so if if we can achieve a therapeutic, what I would say, the, uh, local release by use of nano drug delivery system, okay, mainly you have to reduce the particle size. That plays a very critical role in development of any, you know, nanoparticle or liposomes or microparticle. So if you produce a uniform particle size distribution, okay, it can really achieve your therapeutic concentration at a desired time. So that can be developed by, you know, spherical particles by spray drying, okay, and even know the uh, the homogenization techniques, a lot of homogenization techniques are available nowadays. And uh, those can be developed. If you go for liposomes, that's also well good. And that is again, a simple well adopted process now in an in, in industrial scale. Okay. okay. So those are the, some of the technology I would say, basically the spray drying would be the ideal to make an, a novel drug dealer system for these kind of uh, 
marketed products. So basically, uh, if you have any marketed products, okay, if it's in, if it's a conventional tablet, definitely we can develop into those and to innovate you. I would say no uh, nan uh, nanoparticles or microspheres with the simple process, which is a spray drying. Super, Doctor. Doctor, if the formulations, uh, maybe a nano formulations or your recommended liposomes formulations, the formulation mm -hmm. is a suitable for herbal drugs. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, definitely suitable for herbal drugs. Then what is the market value for the herbal formulations of liposomes or uh, nano, uh, some nano formulations uh, in the uh, cancer, sir? Cancer, especially colon cancer and vaginal cancer. Yeah, I think as I mentioned, the curcumin based also, I mean, which is available in the herbal, for, it has a huge market, but I have not covered you uh, the market details on the herbal here. So maybe I would have collected that. So it would have been better. I think, uh, I think I don't have the data, but it's, it definitely has an, a good value for herbal formulation in the market for a colon cancer or whatever type of this is, I would say. I'll just see if uh, I don't think so. I have collected that information for a herbal, the market value for what you're saying. Hepatotoxicity and then anti cancer, lung treatment. Uh, yeah, anti cancer is here. They are yeah, the curcumin. But um, I'm not very sure, but I need to collect the data. That's okay. a good point. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Tanta. Thank you. Thank you for your wonderful uh, information to us because it is very critical. I know as a pharmaceutical person, I know that uh, they, these uh, formulation methods and preparation methods are is not easy. And in India, I, I feel that a uh, uh, number of formulation R&D scientists are not available. Uh, I, my feel that is. Uh, no, I would say, see, I'm in, Yale, I'm in Ireland here, okay, from since eight years, I would say. So basically in Europe, there is very, in Europe, it's mainly on the manufacturing or tech transfer and R&D as well, but R&D is very, I would say very low R&D centers are very low compared to the, uh, what we have in India. That's what okay. my experience is based on that. We have here R&Ds and uh, research center, lab centers. There may, I mean, mainly the interpretation part, when it's the analytical part is more in Europe formulation research is very well in you know when in us us companies and uh, also you know i would say in india we have a huge number of formulation companies i mean research companies i would say oh and mainly in us mainly in us but oh. i would not i meaning it's just my experience because i uh, what i would say i deal with a lot of cmos okay contract research organizations same uh, contract manufacturing organizations so um, even I did some of the studies in India, company called Advenus Therapeutics, and now it is called as Eurofins that has been acquired, acquired by Eurofins recently. So I have did some studies there for animal studies and also which was, and also some of the oral formulations, but not now, but, uh, but definitely I can see there is a lot of potential in formulation research in India. And in Europe, it is mainly on, you know, the once you dollop and then the technology transfer super doctor super uh, okay <clears throat> thank you for your answers doctor if anybody okay. like to ask questions to dr uh, gopal sabi sir if anybody like to ask question to dr gopal sabi sir Hello. Uh, yes. Yes, sir. I'm Kumaran, sir. How are you, sir? Hi. Good, good, good. Yes, sir. It's a nice presentation, sir. It's a very useful uh, uh, presentation for working in nano uh, formulation for nanotechnologies for drug delivery. Thank you, Mason. Thank you. Thank you. But I know there is a lot of here innovative, I mean, industrialist here on this, uh, maybe on this one, on this, uh, what I would say, on this workshop but they may be also aware of what's happening in the market, more experienced than me, I think, I don't know how many. So, but it's really helpful if even I can take those, you know, inputs from from the industrialist here who was on the call as well. Thank you. Sir. 
really very useful program sir really very really useful talk from you uh, okay thank you very much okay uh, if any others uh, like to ask question kindly raise your hands if any other like to ask questions ah uh, soundarya now you can ask the question sir uh, as a fresher is there any opportunity job opportunity in regarding this uh, herbal formulation nano formulation what uh, are the opportunities so i i think for the just for my as a for my knowledge on herbal based formulation there is a lot of research work going on in a company called i know you you all well known company in mean, himalayan pharmaceuticals there is a opportunity there definitely uh where they have developed most of the you know uh, the herbal tablets as well i can see herbal tablets from himalaya company if you are aware of company called himalaya pharmaceuticals herbal based which is herbal based formulation so which is i mean which i know of this but definitely there are companies more companies other than that himalaya there is a formulation research in uh, in this in this company okay sir thank you sir and there is a lot of phd opportunities available for uh, herbal based formulation uh, around the world i don't know any i you you heard of uh, what i would say uh chia seeds chia seeds anyone knows who what is chia yeah, seeds yeah. yes yeah yes sir, I know. So, so it's an antioxidant basically and it's a huge demand nowadays in europe oh huge demand for chia seeds and they want to make it some formulation from those i mean the chia seeds i mean the co-processed chia seeds i would say which they want in different kinds there's a huge demand now after this covid you know there's a huge demand for antioxidants and there is one also uh, different molecules available but i'm not aware of it but definitely uh, chia seeds very well known i mean which is most demand now in the europe market okay so okay. the best i mean uh, opportunities are there for formulation scientists definitely for phd i'm very sure there's a lot of uh, platforms there and the companies also are there thank you sir thank you so much sir okay if any others like to ask question kindly raise your hands okay thank you doctor thank you for thank you thank you very okay presentation sir in our bio in 2021 organic okay. and the okay. solution thank you Good. very much uh, for your presence okay doctor. thanks uh, thanks for giving the opportunity and have a nice weekend guys take care thank you sir thank you very much bye. all the uh, best bye bye thank you sir soundarya now you give the vote of thanks to doctor uh, gopal sevi sir thank you for sharing your great knowledge with us sir your talk yeah. was jam packed with useful knowledge thank you sir thank you very much